Hi guys, welcome to the astrology report for November 30th, 2022. So first of all, I'm dropping this early. You're probably seeing this like in the middle of the day before. I mean, this is because I literally can feel your energies if I go quiet for a couple days and I want to honor the love that I'm feeling from you. So I'm just going to consistently be dropping videos like a day in advance. So just to let, let you guys know. So we have this moon on November 30th that is going to be in Pisces and when the moon is in Pisces this is about spirituality this is about art this is about magic this is institutions um, this is the structures of where unseen things are dealt with on the lower vibration it can also be about addiction it can also be about illusion it can also be where we're not being very grounded and so this moon is a very beautiful moon it can help you be very creative it can help you be very expressive but because we have the moon in Pisces squaring the sun in Sagittarius, there's going to be an agitation here, right? Where Pisces naturally just kind of wants to be like, leave me alone, right? I want to be in my cave. I want to create and I want to dream. The sun in Sagittarius is like, no, it's time to get active. It's time to get out there. It's time to think about your philosophies, think about your ideas, go places, be with people. So what you're really going to want to do today is kind of find a balance between the two of those things. Allow yourself to connect with other people, but also to connect with yourself. These two desires do not have to be incompatible. What they're calling you to do is to seek balance. And so we also have this beautiful sextile with Uranus, which means today there are going to be opportunities for communication, for enlightenment, especially if you go into a place of meditation, it's going to be easy anytime we have a connection with Uranus to kind of connect to your higher mind, to connect to your shadow self, to bring these things into integration with communication and with expression. We also have a beautiful sextile with the North Node, which means that there's an faded energy to the day, not just in who you meet, but also how you connect with yourself so allow yourself to really go with the flow go with the balance thankfully the sagittarius and pisces are both kind of mutable energies so there is the ability to let yourself have flexibility if you try to force yourself to be in a box because neither sagittarius or pisces likes being in a box then it's going to be more agitating but if you allow yourself to kind of flow into and out of things throughout the day i see a really beautiful energy available but definitely take time to talk to yourself and to connect with other people. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.